Hey guys and welcome back to I Like Old Watches. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my first impressions of a couple of San Martin watches that have turned up. I am going to be producing full reviews for both of these watches. This video is merely an unboxing and first impressions video so you're not likely to get too many facts, figures, stats and specifications. That will all come in the full reviews but don't worry if you do want to know more there will be full and comprehensive lists of all that stuff in the video description along with some affiliate links should you be tempted to head over to aliexpress to make a purchase of course i'd love for you to use them i'd also love for you to click that like button and subscribe right let's crack on and take a look at these two watches right first watch i'm going to show you then is the uh, chronograph version and there it is lots of light play with this watch isn't there you've got a brushed steel bezel insert you've got uh, sunburst brushing on the sub dials and also sunburst brushing on the main dial with fully polished applied indexes and hands and all three hands um, or all three sets of hands if you like have caps on them which is cool um so yeah i think it's a very pretty watch um yeah certainly a little bit different isn't it Looks like a diver, but with a couple of subdials. Um, and let's have a play with those next, I think. Um, decent action on these pushers. Nice click to start the chronograph. And again, to stop it, which is nice. And reset uh, snap back chronograph with the button at the four o'clock. So yeah, that's nice. Um, one position on the crown, no date complication. It is a screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance. So you've got a screw down case back as well. Um, no date complication. One position on the crown obviously adjusts the time. Now, um, something I have noticed um, when the watch is fully wound, um, the crown doesn't have a clutch, so it's not free spinning. So if the watch is fully wound, uh, you are going to struggle to wind the crown back in. Um, I found that out earlier on. Uh, yes, yeah, so. Um... <laughs> Yeah, not ideal when you've got a screw down crown. So if you're planning on submerging this, um, make sure uh, if you are going to undo the crown um, that the watch isn't fully wound up because yeah, you're then not going to be able to screw the crown back in. All right, let's show you the case back. There it is, a fairly standard screw down case back. Um, nice bracelet, nice um, clasp. Uh, yeah, lovely finish, uh, brushed and polished finishing on those links. Nice polishing down the side of the case as well. And double domed sapphire crystal uh, with AR coating. Yeah, you can see a little bit of a blue hue there in the reflection. Well, there you go. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, bezel action. Let's have a little look at that. I'm fairly muted. The clicks aren't particularly crisp quite a light action let's check out the alignment there we go yeah it looks pretty good and it's got san martin sort of springy back play um, where it will um, turn back a little bit but then something forces it back into its uh, correct position right loom let's uh, finish up the loom quickly quick blast with the loom torch then to show you the loom in all its glory three two one and yeah there it is um yeah it looks pretty decent doesn't it uh loom pip on the bezel obviously no loom at the three and the nine o'clock because of those sub dials um but yeah looks decent next up then we've got the baby brother to well one of my favorite san martin watches um it, the bigger brother is obviously the um full fat uh, 62 mass homage this is a 38 mil uh, bezel 37 millimeter diameter um case version of that watch so it's looking yeah slightly thinner slightly taller um, but it is just going to, I guess, suit um, slightly smaller wrists, isn't it? Um, I don't think anything else has changed. Um, I think the clasp might have changed, but the uh, bracelet looks the same and everything else looks very, very similar to the original 62 Mass Homage by San Martin. Beautiful, beautiful watch. I was really keen to have a look at this one just to see how it fits on my average-ish sized wrist. Um, yeah, there is a shortage of smaller divers um, well just generally but um, on AliExpress in particular so um, yeah always nice to see smaller versions of 
very popular watches like this um, being produced a uh, ceramic bezel insert pt5000 um, yeah it's nice isn't it right let's uh, show you the loom first i think this watch will also be competing in a loom degradation comparison video on i like watches too i suspect it's pretty good are you ready three two one and yeah there it is um nice uh no loom at the three o'clock because of the date complication um, but yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? And what about the bezel action? Here we go. Oh, nice. Um, oh, yeah, that's nicer, actually, than um, the bezel action on this one. The resistance is higher. It's got more crisp clicks, for sure. Um, yeah, the grip is pretty good. It was pretty good on this one, actually. Uh, let's check out the alignment. Yeah, spot on. And... Well, no back play at all on this one. Doesn't even have um, San Martin sort of springy back play. And the crystal, once again, double domed sapphire crystal with blue AR look. Very, very nice. I will be producing um, full reviews of both of these watches, which will be uploaded to Wildlife Watches at some point in the nearish future. So look out for those. But don't forget, there is a full list of uh, facts figures stats and specifications in the video description uh, along with some affiliate links so um yeah thanks ever so much for watching guys take care look after yourselves any questions let me know in the comment section you'll see me again very very soon